Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create user accounts in your macOS and also how to delete them when you no longer need them. Also, everyone who uses Mac computer has a user account. It is created when you first set up your Mac computer. But if you share your Mac with other users, maybe with a family member or co-worker, you might need multiple user accounts on it to save their files, preferences, and settings without affecting other users on the macOS, especially when you're sharing a computer. The administrator account is one of the accounts that you can create in macOS, and that account has access to all the settings in your macOS. There are also standard accounts that you can create which will have access to only some of the computer settings. It is also possible to create accounts that are managed with parental controls so your kids will be able to use your computer safely. Furthermore, you can create a sharing only account so that users can access some files on your Mac over a network. So I've already logged into my Mac and it is running macOS Ventura 13. So I'm going to click on the Apple logo and click on system settings. And I'm going to scroll on the left side and click on users and groups and then I'll click on add account. It will prompt me to type in my administrator credential. I will type the password and click on unlock. The first thing that you need to select is whether the user is a standard or an administrator or sharing only. You also have an option to create a new group. But I'll create an administrator account which will have access to all settings in your Mac OS. I will type in the full name, Michael Green. I will keep the default account name Michael Green. If you prefer, you can change the account name. Specify a password and verify it again. Also specify the password hint which is recommended just in case you forget the password. It will give you a hint to remember the password that you have set. So I will set my password hint and click on create user. It will say adding account and there you go. The account has been created as an admin. Michael Green. Now, if you click on the I button, which is right next to it, you get an option to reset the password. And you also have an option allow this user to administer this computer, which is turned on because we created an administrator account. If we uncheck this option, it will make this account as a standard account, but it prompts you that you need to restart the Mac for the changes to take effect. I will click on OK. Here you can see it has set this account as a standard account. And now I will click on delete account. Since I'm making changes to users and groups, it will ask me to type in my administrator credential. So I'll type that and click on unlock. Okay, now it will prompt you with few options. The first option is save the home folder in a disk image, which will save the content of the user accounts home folder which is being deleted as a disk image in the deleted users folder under the users folder. The second option is do not change the home folder, which will ensure that the home folder will not be modified or deleted for the user account which is being deleted and it will remain in the users folder. The third one is delete the home folder, which will basically delete the home folder of the user who is being deleted. So I will select delete the home folder and click on delete account. Okay, so this is how you create and delete user accounts in macOS Ventura. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.